Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community. And today, we're talking about how to create a gasless NFT drop. A gasless NFT drop is a very user-friendly way to drop an NFT collection. It means that the team creating the drop is covering all of the gas fees, or transaction fees, for the mint. That way, the audience doesn't have to. So first, I'm going to show you how Boohoo, one of the biggest fashion brands in the world, were able to sell out their Boohooverse collection of 8,000 NFTs in just four hours by using a gasless mint. Then, we're going to look at how you can set up the same type of transaction for your next drop using Third Web. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. Okay, let's start by talking about Boohoo and why it made sense for them to go with the gasless NFT drop. Boohoo has been operating as a brand since 2006. They know their audience and they understand the online shopping user experience. So the Boohoo team recognizes that first time NFT buyers face a number of obstacles when making their first purchase, whether it's creating a new digital wallet, purchasing the correct tokens, connecting to the correct blockchain, which was Polygon in this case, and of course paying or even understanding gas fees, just to name a few. Now these obstacles cause friction and can lead to new buyers dropping off. So Boohoo saw an opportunity to help their audience by doing a gasless NFT drop for free, eliminating the technical and financial barriers to entry for their audience. Boohoo was able to pull this off using Third Web, which means that we can too. So let's walk through it together. Now, before I get into the technical details, just know that a prerequisite for moving forward is that I should already have an NFT drop created. If you'd like to see a more in-depth video on how to create the NFT drop itself, please check out some of our previous videos or check for a link in the description here. So while I'm setting up my development environment here, please know that all the detailed instructions and code examples that you need are covered in the documentation section of our website. I've gone ahead and linked everything up in the description of the video. We're going to set up our gasless mint using a demo repo that we have on GitHub, as well as Open Zeppelin. After I've cloned the GitHub repo, I'm going to go into Open Zeppelin. Now through Open Zeppelin, I can first set up my relayer. I'm going to name it, choose the network, and click create. What I'm effectively setting up here is a fund that will cover the gas fees on behalf of my community. And because the Polygon Network's native token is Matic, I'm going to send this address somatic. Next, I'm going to create an auto task. So I'm going to name it, then connect it to my relayer. Then before we're ready to launch, I just need to update a few things inside my code editor. I'm going to update the addition drop value to match the contract address of my drop, and I'm going to set up my local environment variables. I'll know I've done this correctly because when I then go to mint the token, it will not prompt me to pay a gas fee. It will simply ask me to sign a transaction. I can't stress enough that if you can afford to do this for your community, it's going to go a long way towards expanding your audience. We recommend using the Polygon network for this type of drop, given that the cost to cover gas fees in large quantities on Polygon is significantly cheaper than Ethereum, but it would certainly work for either. And there you have it. Now, I think that this is especially helpful for projects looking to onboard large groups and new users, particularly those who may not be crypto natives. But I'm sure that there's all kinds of fun and clever ways that you can come up with in order to use this. If you have any ideas that we didn't cover or just any questions about the content, please share with us below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.